you guys. Happy Halloween. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you guys had a great holiday, Halloween holiday weekend. Um, this is going to be your love reading for November 2022. So welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, you can also join my channel and get personal readings from me. Everything you need is in the link uh, is in the description box below this video. Please be mindful that some of the messages may or may not resonate, so just take what fits, leave the rest. This is a Virgo channel. You don't have to be a sun sign Virgo. You can be any sign and have um, Virgo in, obviously, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? So do join the chat. Hello, everyone in the chat. I hope you guys had a great, awesome Halloween. All right, let's get into your reading and see what messages you need to know for the month of November. My goodness, I can't believe it. Um, as this is a love reading, I do feel like I need to say this can be about a romantic relationship, but it also could be, unless it's predictive, it could also be about... Um, a love relationship, meaning love with family and friends. So take it as it resonates, okay? All right, let's get into this reading. Let's see what the messages are for you guys. What does Virgo need to know? All right. Ooh, coffin. Huh, perfect for Halloween, huh? Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. That's the death card. Definitely. Okay. Um, so with the death card, obviously, there's big changes ahead. Some things are ending. There's new beginnings happening. Some of you, it's like time to move on so you can have a rebirth, transform yourselves. Um you or another person, there's definitely a transition and a sense of liberation. Okay, let's see what else. What else does Virgo need to know? All right, you've got kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Whoa, okay, this is obviously a romantic reading coming forward. Um, well, I'd say that whatever's ending, whatever change or growth is happening, there's a new beginning coming in November where there's a falling in love energy. Okay? Let me see. <laughs> Virgo. Virgo's like, what is with this drama? There is always some drama here. Somebody giving kisses, blowing you kisses, sending you kisses, um, or someone receiving affection. All right. <laughs> Healthy choices, nice. Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-care, self-love, and being happier. I love when the healthcare, or healthcare, the healthy choice card comes out. I just feel like I need to get one more. Some of you are making a healthy choice to end a relationship, <coughs> start loving yourselves. Some of you may have already done that. Okay. So, yeah, stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, okay. So basically, it looks like the energy of whatever was in the past, a feeling of betrayal or some kind of separation, that's ended, okay. And there's new growth, new beginnings, healthy choices, being happier, um, and love, falling in love, falling in love again, okay, so let's get into this and see what is going on here, what are the messages, other messages, okay, two of swords in the reverse, all right, there's a lot of confusion, maybe some indecision, um, and there's also a compromise being made here, Okay, something is also being postponed, being able to see the truth, maybe lies being exposed as well. Okay, there's some kind of delay at this time. Let's see. Oh yeah, delay, delay. Something's coming to fruition. For some of you, this hard work, whatever effort you've been putting in, 
paying off. There's definitely rewards and profits and results. Um, But I feel overall, this is a gestational period for you. Okay, and I It feels like right now you've got things on hold as you make some kind of transition in your life moving forward after some type of separation or, um, you know, a breakup or an argument or something like that. A lot of you are just moving into self-love, okay? Self-care, being happier, okay? And also... You want to fall in love again, or you want someone to fall in love with you, you know? So you're in contemplation mode, and you're not, I feel like because you're indecisive, you've got something coming before you in November, a decision, but you're not sure if you're ready to invest fully or even a little, okay? Because like I said, you're in a transition period, let me see what's going on. What else? What else does Virgo need to know? There's Taurus energy, Libra energy there. Okay. Wow. All right. This could be about marriage. This could be about commitment. Yeah. You. So I feel like a lot of you are kind of like, I'm not sure, maybe committing to myself is the ideal phase for myself right now or that's something I need to continue working on. Some of you, you know, that three of pentacles often can be a card of, you know, it's hard work and building, layering upon success, collaborating with others. For some of you, there might be an energy of like seeking mentorship or, um, maybe going to counseling or going back to school or studying and focusing on getting a degree. You know, you're definitely maybe joining um, a team or something to do with your career or work. That's Capricorn energy. And I really feel like you guys are kind of like in this apprentice mode where you are starting over and some of you are learning about yourselves really like becoming more self-aware okay and I like it I, I, I feel like you're taking a step back in November or you've taken a step back and really just focusing on self okay queen of cups in the reverse and death in the reverse so there's an emotional immaturity or maybe some insecurities that you're taking a look at. Maybe there's um, an issue with trust or a feeling of you're lacking direction, not really sure which way to go on an emotional path. Okay. Um, So there is a little fear of a new beginning. There's a fear of repeating negative patterns. Um, There might be some dependency stuff or a feeling of still kind of suffering emotionally, you know, um, resisting change so you're kind of like in contemplation mode and I feel like with this coffin card there is this energy of like the universe spirit the supernatural you know is trying to tell you that it's time to make these changes and to liberate yourself to have growth um, and to make these transitions but of course you know you're Virgo and you're going to analyze the the bejesus out of this thing to see (laughs) Like, don't get paralyzed by your thoughts, right? So I feel like this energy is playing out for you at this time, okay? And you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. You don't have to, like, conquer this mountain in one fell swoop. You can just, bit by bit, take a few steps forward. That's what I feel like this energy is. Let me get a clarifying card for the death card. So, again, with Libra, again, Scorpio. So... Okay, it could be a Libra Scorpio cusp as well. Let me see. Okay, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo energy, male, female. Um, yeah, there's definitely a transition happening here. But you're, you're, you're definitely looking in, or asking yourself, some of you might be asking yourself, in what ways did I su- suffer and um, as either a victim or in what ways did I contribute to my own suffering? Okay, so you're doing a little bit of analysis as you go through some kind of change, but 
that's leading you to making healthy choices and healthy decisions. Now, for those of you that had a relationship with someone, if there might have been, like I said, some kind of heartbreak or pain or separation, go back to yesterday's reading because I did feel like yesterday's reading, the one right before this, had a lot to do with somebody getting maybe their karma or... Uh, you know, having regret about losing you, but even though that person has that energy playing out on their side, um, don't stay attached to that because you have to keep growing and you have to keep moving forward. All right, um, let me see here. What else do you need to know? Okay, you've got the magician. That's beautiful. Wow, and the Ace of Wands. So there's major, whatever you're manifesting, okay, you have very, you have growth, okay? It's not gigantic growth, but it's, look at those tiny little leaves on that stick. <laughs> there is an energy there of manifesting, taking action, working hard, figuring out what it is that you want, manifesting your destiny to have new beginnings. So I do see that's happening. So you're going to start seeing little signs of growth in all areas of your life. Whatever, whatever you put into something, you see rewards. You see results. Okay, And the level of effort you put in, the universe gives you back the level of of results. They're equated. If you're not seeing a lot in the way of results, maybe you need to go back to the drawing board and look at where you need to tweak things. Okay, So I do see you will start seeing some growth and new, kind of like, um, like a new start happening here for you. All right, let me see. And that's going to, it's going to be very positive. You know, very good news, very positive. Let me see. Some of you are just going to take up some dancing, do some dancing classes. Okay, so, hmm. Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles re reversed. Okay. Um, now, I definitely feel like there's a change in circumstances as far as your career, your job, things like that. Okay. Um, and I feel like these are going to be some unexpected changes where there may be some type of struggle in regards to your money, being able to get your bills paid. Um, it's not no money, okay? It is just a little bit less and you may notice, okay, something's going on in the career front or the financial front where you may need to seek assistance during this time. Um, recession, definitely recession, um, world recession, global, national recession, a little bit of adversity, all right, um, uh, okay, hold on, they're just telling me, some of you um, might also, as far as relationship go, feel like you're by yourself, you know, like getting, even though things are progressing and they feel like you're on a good path, there is also an energy of feeling abandoned or that might come back up or those negative feelings. Um, also, and I feel like because it's unexpected, it just might pop out of the blue and it, it's like, it might feel like a setback, you know, um, if it, it just kind of feels like um, it'll have a physical effect on you, right? Um, this growth you're trying to have, you might feel drained. <clears throat> you might feel like you're out here doing all this, putting in all this effort and all this work, and for what? You're trying to get to that Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, glorious, having, um, you know, this uh, absolute abundance, you know, you're going from the five to the ten, but you're not quite there. So you might feel like 
oh, you know, this isn't working, I'm seeing little growth, or I feel like I have a poverty mindset, or I'm struggling, or my circumstances are changing, and it's like one thing after another, you keep trudging up that hill in the snow, barefoot, you're, you know, it just, that's just an um, euphemism, I guess that's a word, but it, things are not accumulating, and I feel like you got to ignore that energy, okay, because the process of healing and self-love and self-care, you know, if you haven't done that for a while, it's going to take time, especially if you're out there on your own, or you've been out there on your own, and you don't have like a partner in crime that's giving you support and, you know, cheering you on, um, you're out here doing it by yourself, you can't let those setbacks keep you from attaining your goals because success always happens three steps forward, two steps back, three more steps forward, two steps back. It's part of the process to success. It, success is never done in a linear fashion. It's it's never just point A to point B, you know, with, <laughs> like I saw this meme once and I just, I love to draw, so I'm just going to draw. Sex is, uh, sex Success is never from just here to here, like in a straight line. Success is usually, you start off good, you start off straight, and then you got a couple of loop-de-loops, and then you're back going straight again, and then a couple more loop-de-loops, and you going feel like you're going backwards, and then you keep moving forward. That's, that is, that's how the process looks right here at the bottom. It's never easy. <laughs> It's never easy. It's never straightforward. So I feel like there's a kind of a, a waking up to that energy here. And I almost feel like that's a message to you to remember, stay the course, keep going, don't stop. Unless you've reached your goal, okay? If you've reached your goal, and then you're like, okay, now what? Now I feel stuck. Now create a new one, right? Keep moving forward. So... Let me take a look. We're going to look here at love. Because there was kisses, unconditional loving, giving, receiving fec affection, and falling in love. Now, either that's falling in love with self and not in an egotistical way, um, or it is something to do with someone coming into your life going forward. Okay, wow. So, seven of cups in the reverse. Reality, clar clarity, sobriety, um, opportunities, commitment, kind of head out of the clouds, okay, so something feels very real here, and that's scorpion energy there, so something feels very real, let me see, let's get in and see what else this is going on here, there's um, an illusion ending and gaining a restored sense, okay, wow, the High Priestess in the reverse. Hmm, this is revelation. This is revealing secrets. This is very interesting. Hold on a second. What does this have to do? Oh, hmm, okay. So I feel like somebody who has been alone and in isolation, it could be a Virgo, another Virgo, um, it could be a Pisces, it could be a Scorpio, somebody who was in isolation is in this position of contemplating and doing some soul searching. Um, and what is that contemplation and that soul searching revealing to this person? Well, it, it feels like either they were very manipulative or cunning or um, deceptive, getting clarity about this. There might have been an energy of this person um, getting a restored sense uh, of what they need to do, or, or this person, I don't, not really sure. It, it could be the signs that I called out, but it feels like somebody here, not you, is coming to terms with a commitment issue, or that they kept a lot of secrets. Okay, 
Wow, okay. The Emperor in the reverse. Aries energy. You know what? Someone was very stubborn. Maybe an absentee father. Paternity issues. But the Emperor in the reverse is someone who's got a big, fat, nasty ego. <laughs> so, someone um, very immature... Poor planner. Um, I feel like somebody's taking a look at themselves, male or female energy, um, of how they were just all up in their ego. Yeah. Yeah. Why? What's going on? Who is this person? Okay, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Very ungrounded, unsuccessful, um, corrupt. <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse is not always a good king. This is someone who, um, in the reverse, can be very jealous and have no follow-through. All right. Yeah, there's some kind of wake-up here. Ooh. Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's that compromise. So somebody is like, I feel like you're definitely going to get some communication. Someone wants to end some kind of conflict with you and find a peaceful resolution. And it's like, I feel like this person is communicating with you um, because they realize that they were contributing to stabbing you in the back or some kind of deception. Okay, well, that's very interesting, right? That's Aquarius energy, Taurus energy. Oh, wow, the sun, exposure, opening up, expressing self, truth and openness. Okay, so I do, Leo energy there. So I do feel like this might be a little bit of a residual from yesterday's reading. And I, f I didn't want to get too deep into this other person because I feel like yesterday's reading really resonated for a lot of you. And you can go back and listen to that. I wanted to focus more on your energy here. You're going through some major changes. You're eating better. You're taking care of your body, taking care of your mental wellness, your spiritual wellness. You know, I feel like you're on a really good path. And like I said yesterday, there was some something going on where you've accepted the decision that somebody has made and decided, you know what, I can't, you know, that serenity, serenity prayer comes to mind. Um, God grant me the serenity, except things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I feel like a lot of you just got clarity, like you can't change anybody else's mind or their decisions. You know, you can lead a ho horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And some of you just said, you know what, this horse ain't drinking shit, and I'm out. Good luck. <laughs> Drink the water if you want. I don't care. I led you in that direction. I tried to do the best that I could. I put all my effort and energy and nothing came out of it. So i um, focusing on self and that's great. Yeah. So, okay. Definitely. This person may just ask if you could be friends or may propose the idea of friendship. Um, not because that's what they want, but because they don't know that you would want anything else with them. Okay, but cups are emotional and this does repre represent, there's Pisces energy, some kind of reunion or a gathering or getting together and celebrating. It could be a holiday kind of thing festivals, festivities, gathering, could be a graduation, baby shower, well, it wouldn't be a graduation in November, I mean, maybe it is, a uh, baby shower, perhaps, a wedding, engagement party, holiday, celebration, that kind of energy, and look, King of, King of Swords is back, hello, King of Swords, always here in our readings, aren't you, um, that's, that shows up as Libra, but it could also be Gemini and or Aquarius. So, yeah, there's definitely somebody coming in to communicate some truths, right? And, that, and that's going to play out from yesterday. Here's a 19. So I was feeling like you were going to get some type of message or something around November 19th. Okay, let me see. You know what? I think we're going to go over to, let's try messages of love and see what these messages are here for you. What does else does Virgo need to know for the month of November? OK, 
Okay, boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, and that's not for everybody else. That's for you, Virgo. You need to put boundaries in place for yourself. This is all about self-discipline, setting boundaries and sticking with it. Okay, um, you don't have to place boundaries on other people. You place them on yourself. That way you know where you stand. And everyone else just has to fall in line with your boundaries. And if they don't, well, that's not your problem, right? You set boundaries for yourself, not for others. What else does Virgo need to know? So I feel like firm boundaries are needed now at this time for you in the month of November. What is it that you want? What are you willing to tolerate? And what are you not willing to tolerate? And stick with it. integrity okay there you go does this situation align with your morals and values okay so this is all about your boundaries virgo okay if it doesn't align with your values and morals or other people do not align with your boundaries um, then you have to just remove yourself from people places and things that don't respect you okay a lot of times people will try to test your boundaries and life will test your boundaries your dog will test your boundaries your cat sticking their starfish in your face your boss traffic everybody's going to be out here testing you left right and center you're even going to be testing yourself okay get in alignment with your values and your morals I do feel like you might be tested. That's why firm boundaries are needed right now. Okay. Play hard to get, Virgo. <laughs> Not as a game, but don't give in too easily. Don't let your emotional thinking um, make your decisions for you in your life. Okay? There's a time for love and then there's a time for work and business and taking care of business right so definitely find time to laugh goof off and enjoy people in your life that you love and that are you know you guys are in alignment with each other but when it comes to some kind of relationship if someone is trying to test your boundaries playing hard to get not in the sense of a game but just basically in the sense of like you know i'm not easy and i'm not going to be easy for you right and and why do i say that because it, like we want to be open and communicative with people all the time as much as we can to state our case you know but there's some of you who might give in too easily to a twin flame or a past life lover who you think is your true love however if that was the person who stabbed you in the back or was deceptive or what have you, um, I don't think you need to be just letting somebody come back in the door willy-nilly um, just because you care about that person or you love that person because we can love people from a distance. If, if someone is disrespectful or disrespecting your boundaries or if you didn't have any boundaries and now you're setting them and this person is sensing that now you've got some boundaries up and they want to try to break through so they can get what they want, that emperor in reverse energy, um, don't let your emotional thinking change any of that you have to honor yourself and, and respect yourself okay so you have to wait timing is not quite right for some kind of situation right sometimes just setting boundaries um, is to see how other people are going to if they're going to respect you or not you know sometimes we got to set them and see what people will do some people will be like oh okay yeah that's fine I totally respect you you know, um, and others are going to be like, oh, hell no, I'm going to steamroll you and do whatever I want. So you have to find out if someone's going to take advantage of you um, or not by setting boundaries for yourself. All right, let's see what the Chinese signs are here. Okay, you have dragon, year of the dragon. Oh, just you guys, Thomas sent me, and I, I emailed you back, Thomas, and thank you so much, sent me um, the... A Chinese sign, um, years, okay, so year of the dragon would be somebody who is born 
1964, 76, 88, 2000. Okay? Could also be 1952 and 1940. So, Year of the Monkey, and you guys can look this up, of course, 1944, 56, 68, 80, 92. Okay? And... Well, 2004. Sure, why not? And you have Year of the Tiger. Interesting. So, Year of the Tiger would be uh, 62, 74, 86, 98. Okay. We have Year of the Pig. Beautiful. So, Year of the Pig is 59, 71, 83, 95. Okay, year of, the, year of the rooster would be 57, 69, 81, 93. Okay, year of the rabbit. That would be 51, 63, 75, 87, 99. And two more. Okay, we did Year of the Pig already. Okay, Year of the Goat would be, and there, it's also called the Sheep, would be uh, 55, 67, 79, 91. Okay, and one more. And Year of the Horse. So Year of the Horse would be 54, 66, 78, 90. Okay, so this could be you. It could be your person. It could be both of you. It could be none of you. So take it in stride. And let me get, I want to try to get some names. Oh, this popped right out. All right. Let's see into it some names. Okay. So I'm hearing two names. I'm hearing Zachary or Zach, and I'm hearing uh, Zelda. <laughs> Wasn't that a game? Legend of Zelda. All right. And so you have the letter G. Oh, they just gave me... That is so weird. They just gave me an image of Gaston from... Oh, what was that Disney movie? That Disney fable. Beauty and the Beast? Okay. Beauty and the Beast. Somebody, um, A Year of the Horse, I'm also getting. Let me see. I'm hearing Gina. Okay. My stomach is growling. I should probably eat. Okay. That's weird. Okay, they're giving me the, the, the name. Michael Knox. Michael or Michelle Knox. I'm hearing Knox. Like, because I'm hearing Knox on a door. And they're saying Knox. I'm also hearing, um, uh, okay, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's Q-I. Key? Key? Somebody's key? Maybe it's an actual key? But Q-I. It's, it, it sounds like key. Pronounced like an actual key. All right. Okay, somebody's initials are C S C S or S C C S or S C. Hmm. Hold on, you guys. Gary. I heard Gary. Uh, 
All right, initials RP or PR. Okay, and we have the name Zhu or Shu, Z U. All right, somebody, I don't know if you just got done um, a Zoom call or you're about to do a Zoom call or you have an appointment scheduled or you're doing something on Zoom. And I'm picking up September 8th. I'm also picking up 1982. Okay. So, is this even a thing? They're giving me Puma. P-U-M-A. Puma. Is that a shoe? Do they still make them? Pumas. Or somebody used to wear pumas? Or is it an animal? Pum. Puma. Okay. Letter P. Okay. Oh. And distinctly just said Jojo. Jojo. All right. I'm getting Arizona. All right, somebody, they just said, they said, say Regal Cinema. Regal Cinema. Ooh. What did I drop? Oh, I just dropped one of the uh, signs that it landed on Aquarius. Okay. Let me get one more. Let's see what other message here. <laughs> Somebody drives, um, or used to drive, a, like a, a four, no, a truck. A truck. Okay, some kind of a truck. And so specifically, they're saying GME or GMC, but I don't know if they make them anymore. But yeah, or General, what was that? General Motors Corporation. I know they have all kinds of trucks out there, but there's it's definitely like a truck with a with a bed. All right, let me see what the signs, specific signs might be. Okay, Aries, Pisces, Gemini. Okay, Libra showing up. I'm also picking up um, November 14th will be significant for something. Okay, Cancer, Leo, Aquarius again, and Virgo. Okay, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo again, and Taurus. So that could be, um, if you're not a Virgo sun, that could be one of your signs when I call those out, or some other person that you are listening to this reading for. And... Let's just get some numbers here. Oh, geez. There it goes. All the bloopers I could do with dropping these things. And it is... It's gone. So, bye-bye. All right. Let me see. So, September 14th, also significant. Um, in November, somebody is going to be 40. I'm also picking up the year 1980. Um, somebody is also 57. There's also the year 1978 and 1986. Okay, let me see what else I want to give you here. All right. Uh, August 1971. Very strong message there. Okay. 1980 again. Um, November 8th. Here's the 1111. So there is a twin flame connection for sure that feels divinely inspired. I'm just hearing. I'm also getting um, September 8th. Oh, okay. So now they're telling me last four digits of a number, 8880. Um, we're getting area code 717. Also, um, Area code 88. Also picking up 71. I'm also picked. There's a lot of eights, uh, ones, 
and sevens. So there might be, you guys might be seeing, you know, double or triple numbers of ones, sevens, and eights, because we have we have one, then eleven, eleven then 77, then 888. So those numbers are very specific for someone. You're seeing 111, 777, well you wouldn't see 777 on a clock, um, or 888 on the clock, but you might be seeing um, a combination of the 1s, the 8s, and the 7s, okay? So I just want to kind of clarify that for you guys, however that might mean for you. But I'm going to leave your, re oh wait, nope, one more thing, we want to do a charm. Okay, so you have the kitty cat. Wow, okay, like a black cat. Very superstitious energy. <laughs> Somebody's got a cat, perhaps? Very superstitious. And then we have like, um, this looks like a flower here, but the first thing that I saw was one of those Chinese weapons, a five-star Chinese weapon. <laughs> I know that's very random and specific. Okay, what else? What am I feeling here? Okay, feeling an owl also. An owl of wisdom. Not speaking, but keeping the eyes peeled, looking behind your back, eyes in the back of your head. Somebody, Maybe somebody tells you that or said that to you. You have eyes in the back of your head. That cat looks like a cartoon cat. Maybe somebody was a cat for Halloween. Okay. And... Last but not least, looks like a cello, like um, a musical instrument. This looks like four-string cello or bass, right? It's a, it's a musical instrument. So somebody maybe plays a musical instrument, or you're playing it right now, or you're just listening to classical music, or maybe some spa music that's using um, some kind of um, uh six string or four string instrument or doing something with an acoustic acoustic it feels acoustic like i'm hearing um very raw and acoustic not um not electric nothing like that just very raw and acoustic and however that resonates for you i'm not sure i just i see that and i can just hear this real subwoofer energy this bass acoustic very you know i don't know tapping i hear tapping some sort of tapping all right you guys so i'm gonna leave that there for you i hope that was interesting and gave you a little bit of insight i'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday, November 1st, All Saints Day. Um, so I hope you guys have a fantastic or had a great Halloween and have a wonderful evening, day, and I will see you back here tomorrow. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.